In this video, we are going to talk about the type tools. The type tools, and there are several of them. And we go back up to our toolbar, or our tools here, and we see that there are essentially three different type tools or variations on using the type tool. And the first three are the primary ones. <clears throat> the second ones, uh, or the second little group, um, are the same as the first three, except that the letters are stacked automatically, one on top of another, almost like an old-fashioned movie marquee. Uh, so unless we want that specific sort of look, we, we typically always are using one of the, the first three here. And uh, the first one is the basic regular type tool. The second is type inside of a shape where we can manipulate the shape and the type always stays inside of that shape and will change how it's laid out based on manipulation of the shape that it's inside of. And then the third is type on a path where we can have type on an angle or on a curve and by manipulating the anchor points and the handlebars of that path, we can then change the shape or the path that the type uh, sits on. So let's first start with the basic type tool. Okay, and um, we have, uh, I'm just gonna bring it over, it's similar to word processing, you bring it over on the page and we type several words. And we can then um, notice our options bar at the top of the page has our basic um, type uh, uh, tools to manipulate the text, meaning the name of the text, um, the size of the text, and um, the alignment of it, whether we want it flush left or centered or flush right. So our uh, basic uh, tools for mani manipulating the type are there in our options bar. We can also bring up a separate dialog box that has more tools and uh, that if it's not available already um, set up in your um, little sidebars over here our palettes. We can go up under window, we slide down to type and then over to character, over to character. And I typically use this. It has more tools, as you'll see, than is available in the options bar for manipulating the, the type. So, uh, and the shortcut is one that you wanna learn. It's a good one. Uh, Command T, T for type. So we'll pick that and we'll bring that up on the page. And, um, then we can, uh, to manipulate or change the uh, different um, aspects of the, ty the type, we can either highlight it with the type tool, wipe it as we call it, what you're typically used to in word processing, okay? And um, by putting the type tool right, right next to it and clicking and dragging, we can highlight the text and uh, change its attributes from here. We can change the size here. And uh, remember that with all of these dialog boxes, whether it's here or up in the options bar, you don't have to be limited by these choices they give you. We can put much larger type in um, the size of the type, etc., into these dialog boxes. So we can manipulate the type or change its attributes by highlighting it with the type tool or simply uh, clicking to one of the arrow tools. And you see with the white arrow, notice it's underlined um, right here. And this indicates that the type is selected and then we can uh, change uh, the color of the type. Um, and of course we can change once again any of its attributes um, and basic typography 
um, uh, is not only the size of the type, which is the first number visible right here, but you always have the second number. And look at the little graphic. It tells you or will, will remind you that the second number has to do with the space in between, in between the lines of text. Um, and that's called letting. And as we make that number smaller, you can see that the text is coming closer together. And so um, when we have more than one line of text, letting is always uh, an important aspect uh, for manipulating the type. Okay? So whether we do any of that by highlighting or wiping the text, or we do it with the arrow tools, um, we can accomplish the same things. Also, with the black arrow, like other shapes, we can actually size it, hold the shift key, and we can size it by just pulling the corner like we can any other shape, as well as um, rotate it, etc., as you already learned about. So the basic type tool is fairly straightforward. It's pretty much what you already know and can be done by highlighting the text with the type tool or by simply selecting it with one of the arrow tools. Okay.